The T flip-flop. The T flip-flop is the fourth circuit we will examine. The T flip-flop has applications in counter and addition circuits. This block diagram shows the T flip-flop has two inputs and two outputs. The inputs are labelled T, which stands for toggle, and the other input is used for a clock signal. The outputs are labelled Q and Q0. Q0 is the inverse of Q. This is the logic diagram for the T flip-flop. Notice that the NOR flip-flop is used in this circuit with other logic gates added. This helps to prevent the do not use condition we found in the basic NOR and NAN type flip-flops. The clock input is a constant high-low signal, which will control when Q and Q0 will change. The T flip-flop will enter into a toggle mode whenever the T input goes high, meaning that the outputs will flip between a high and low state. The truth table for this circuit is as follows. If the clock is zero and T is zero, the flip-flop will not change at the output. If the clock is one and T is zero, the flip-flop will also not change at the output. If the clock is 1 and T is 1, the flip-flop will go into toggle condition. Let's go to the simulator to examine this in more detail. So here in the simulator, we have the block diagram and logic gate version of the T flip-flop. As mentioned in the introduction, there is a bug issue with the block diagram version. The bug occurs when the flip-flop is in toggle condition. Both circuits have a logic train on the clock input, a logic switch on the T input, and current limiting resistors and LEDs at Q and Q0 outputs. The clock inputs are receiving a 0-1 signal. T is at zero, so Q0 stays high and Q stays low. When we switch to one, we put both flip-flops into toggle mode. Here we can see clearly the issue with the block diagram version. As the Q and Q0 switch between each other, the LEDs will do an on-off-on action. Looking at the logic gate version, the LEDs switch on and off with a steady state signal. Using the block diagram and a timing circuit would cause an issue with the output timing due to this on-off-on action. Unfortunately, the planned circuit will not be demonstrated using the T flip-flop. The developers at every circuit have acknowledged this issue and are working to resolve it, so hopefully we can return to the T flip-flop in the near future and explore it again.